good YouTube, it's your boy only one KDB and I'm back with another video in today's video, bro. We got Kanye West reveals why Jay-Z hated Tupac. Now if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, turn that post notification bell so you're notified. I drop another banger, bro. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing, bro. We're gonna keep going up and we're gonna keep grinding for y'all boys, bro. Now Kanye West reveals why Jay-Z hated Tupac, bro. Now I ain't even know they hated each other, bro. Well, I ain't know uh Jay-Z hated Tupac. But we finna see why, bro. Now if you're new to the channel. You know what to do, bro. Just hit that notification bell. You not, you might as well, bro. You right there, bro. Just subscribe. Just scroll down, subscribe. And after that, hit that notification bell that's next to the subscribe button, bro. You might as well. And like the video, bro, because it helped me get into recommendations. But yeah, bro, we finna get to it, bro. I've been talking for long enough. We just finna get active, bro. But let's not be selfish. And because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change. Change the world. I don't know how to change it. But I know if I keep talking about how dirty it is out here, somebody gonna clean it up. Right, right, right. Thank you for that nature. Exact quote, exact that I'm that I'm referring to. If you've seen those pocket of you. Tupac, he really had an issue with Jay Z. He really didn't like him then. Not at all. So it looks like Diddy isn't okay. the only high-profile industry figure who couldn't stand Tupac. And reports recently emerged that Jay Z. Why y'all hated on Tupac, bro? Tupac was a goat, bro. Tupac was an icon, bro. Yeah, yeah. Tupac was the man, bro. I remember when he dissed Biggie Smalls. I was. Five years old at the time when that song came out. You know what I'm saying? First off, fuck your click and then click you, click you, click you, click you, click you. I don't know the words, bro. But yeah, I remember when that came out, bro. Back in uh, 1934, I think. Yeah, I think it was 1934. I was about five years old. Song was hard, bro. I remember, bro. Watching it on a black and white TV. Also hated talk and saw him as a threat to his own success. However, Jay's former friend, Kanye West, has always spoken- Bro, Kanye West got a big ass head, bro. I don't think we talk about this enough. Kanye West's head is big as shit, bro. But let's continue, bro. I keep pausing it, bro. I'm tripping. Highly of Tupac, and cited him as one of his biggest inspirations, not just in terms of music, but also in the way- Tupac Hey, that's GTA. Keep his mind and criticize the industry. See, unlike Jay-Z, both Tupac and Kanye were very outspoken about the dark side of the music industry, and they openly spoke out against corporate control over black artists. In fact, some fans have even speculated that this is the reason the industry higher-ups wanted to silence Tupac. But is this also the reason why Jay-Z couldn't stand Tupac? And how does Kanye feel about Jay-Z dissing Pac? Let's get into Let's it. Let's find out. Let's that get to it. inspiration needs to be taken out of the box of luxury and given to all people. If people are working from a place of inspiration and opportunity, the world would be better. So rumors recently started yeah. circulating online that Jay-Z is think. aware of Diddy's alleged plans to eliminate Tupac. And fans are saying it's suspicious how many individuals who rose to fame alongside Jay and Diddy have either disappeared or met unfortunate ends while the two of them have maintained a close relationship. Y'all think they be S-word and people, I ain't gonna say the S-word because I think YouTube don't like that one. Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. Y'all think they be sacrificing people? Yeah, they say every time somebody get close to them too and they look like they about to take off like a rocket, something happened to them. So that's all. I'm Stop texting me at this time, please. But yeah, like I was saying, bro. Yeah, bro, we gotta, we gotta see what's popping. Amid the recent controversy surrounding the arrest of Diddy's former associate, Keithy D, for his involvement in Tupac's murder, fans have reignited the conversation of- I ain't gonna lie, bro. This beat hard as shit, bro. Y'all hear this shit? A Jay-Z and Tupac's feud, with many saying that Jay benefited from Pac's untimely demise. In fact, a lot of fans have argued that if Tupac and Biggie hadn't passed away at a young age, Jay wouldn't be where he is now. So to give you some context on Jay and Pac's feud, there were widespread rumors at the time that Jay was scared of Tupac surpassing him because he recognized that he lacked Tupac's natural charisma. Despite Jay's Damn. lyrical skills, Tupac possessed a certain it factor that simply just had that in him, bro. But there's another important quality that sets Tupac apart Snoop from Jay, Dog. and this is the same quality that Kanye West has. Both Tupac and Kanye were never scared to speak their mind and go against the grain, and they both openly criticized the music industry. They could control Shaq. They right. Can control Charles Barkley. They right. Can control LeBron James. LeBron James. They can control Jay Z and Beyonce. Jay Z and Beyonce. But they can't control me. But now the record companies is like stifling the brother. They they trying to make it to where as rap music is gonna be just propaganda. They telling you what to say. They telling you everything we got. When I get in the music industry, they ain't telling me a goddamn thing. I'm gonna be running shit over there. I'm gonna say, you look, yo, check this out, yo. This how it's running. I run shit over here. Y'all don't run. Y'all are just a record label, bro. I run. I'm running this shit. Y'all ain't telling me what to say. 
say, how to say it, when to say it, who to apologize to when I say something out of line. Yeah, I'm going to run that shit over there. Yeah, I'm going to be the first nigga to run the music industry. I'm going to get over that motherfucker and run everything. Y'all ain't telling me what to say, how to say it, or none of that shit. Y'all going to pay me for my shit, and if I feel like y'all low ball balling me, I'm pulling up on y'all, and we going to handle business. Now all that stuff we were saying before was cool Because they didn't think nobody was listening But now they know they listen and they stifling all that You can't say what you want, you can't do what you want You can't wear what you want It's like, Crazy. you know what I'm saying, they straight censoring us Jay-Z, however, they ain't gonna censor me the status quo. They gonna have And me much like Diddy, up. he's always been about putting his financial interests above everything else Now, the public feud between Jay and Pac began when Jay collaborated with Pac's rival, Biggie To diss West Coast rappers Jay-Z and Biggie, both hailing from Bed-Stuy, New York Became friends in the early 90s I ain't no Their biggie could dance. on Jay's track, Brooklyn's Finest, reportedly triggered the conflict with Tupac. Irv Gotti, who contributed to Jay's debut album, Reasonable Doubt, later revealed that he'd warned Jay about including Biggie on the track due to the already heightened tensions in the East Coast versus West Coast feud. While Tupac and Biggie were initially on good terms, their relationship soured around 1994, following an incident in which Tupac was shot five times at the Quad Studios. I remember Tupac that. Tupac believed that Biggie and Diddy were aware of the planned attack. However, Biggie denied this. Following the Quad Studios incident, the feud between Tupac and Biggie escalated, with the both of them publicly exchanging verbal jabs. Not long before Jay-Z released Brooklyn's Finest, Biggie's track, Who Shot Ya, hit Who his shot ya? Tupac interpreted Who Shot Ya as a direct diss aimed at him. Further Yeah, yeah, we heard the stories already. East Coast and West Coast artists. And this is why Irv Gotti had reservations about Jay releasing his track with Biggie. However, Jay ignored all warnings and released Brooklyn's Finest. On the track, Biggie explicitly called out Tupac, referring to him as his son. Following this exchange, Tupac started directly dissing Jay-Z in songs such as Bomb First, My Second Reply, and Friends. During this period, everyone expected Jay to retaliate with a diss track directed I ain't gonna lie, bro. Who y'all think was the best rapper out of those three? Jay-Z, Tupac, or Biggie? Who y'all think was the best rapper? I'll wait. Because I know it's gonna be some... Uh... Some old heads that watch. I ain't, I ain't got nothing against the old heads, bro. Y'all watch my videos. I appreciate y'all, bro. But I'm just saying, bro. Who y'all think better, bro? Tupac, Biggie, or fucking Jay-Z? Now, me personally, I ain't qualified to say who, bro. Because I ain't hear nothing there. I heard them rap before, obviously, like through YouTube and other videos and shit like that. But, yeah, bro. I wasn't alive when them niggas was rapping and doing their thing, so. I ain't no 90s babies. I'm a 2002 baby, so. Make sure y'all boys tell me who y'all think the best rapper was, bro, at that time. At Tupac, but Jay never had the opportunity to respond because just weeks later, Tupac was fatally shot in Las Vegas. However, it later came to light that Jay did in fact write an explosive and offensive diss track named Scathing aimed at Pac. And despite claiming he didn't want to release it out of respect to Tupac's grieving family, Jay-Z performed the track live at the Apollo Theater after Tupac died. That's and disrespect. Pac Kent later That's said crazy. that Scathing contained extremely disrespectful lyrics about Pac. If you can find anybody who was at that show and Apollo was packed, they will tell you that it was absolutely crazy. Yeah, somebody in Tupac family should have kicked Jay-Z in his ass. The things he was saying. But why did Jay-Z feel compelled to perform this diss track after Tupac had already passed away? Well, one prevailing theory suggests that Jay might have felt a sense of relief following Tupac's death because he was scared of Pac and believed he could never surpass him in the rap game. In fact, according to Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, Jay was so terrified of Tupac that he once refused to leave his Las Vegas hotel room for a performance because Pac and his entourage were in town. But Pac was in Vegas. He was that shook? God Vegas. damn. And they wasn't going to let Jay-Z come out the hotel. They found out where Jay was at. And Jay wasn't Jay wasn't going to come out the hotel. <laughs> he was going to miss that performance or whatever like that. Many fans have also accused Jay of being a snake because he didn't have the courage to directly engage in a rap battle with Pac while Pac was still alive. Many rappers who were active during that era and witnessed the rivalry have claimed that Jay-Z held deep jealousy towards Tupac's charisma and style. And Jay apparently understood that no matter how skillful he was as a lyricist, he could never match Tupac's charm. Nas yeah, revealed right. in one interview that Jay seemed bitter over the success of both Tupac and Biggie, and he recalled one conversation when Jay claimed he was a superior rapper to Pac, Biggie, and DMX. Nas said that back in 2000, he attended a party thrown by Steve Stout, and Jay seemed like he was still hung up on his competition, telling Nas that artists like DMX and Tupac only appealed to those, quote, starving on the street. We were kicking it, and he told me that he's better than Biggie, Nas said. 
I looked at him like he was crazy. Then yeah, I'd have looked really at his ass crazy. and be like, nigga, you just chatting. Be quiet. You ain't better than no fucking Biggie. You ain't better than Tupac or DMX. You just talking right now. Yeah, you talking out your ass. Yeah, that's what I would have said to him. Nigga, be quiet. <laughs> you got that lick up in you or something. Because you ain't better than that one of them niggas. He said that Tupac and DMX were not lyricists. I told him that I disagreed with him, that Tupac was the greatest ever, period. Another reason why fans have criticized Jay as sneaky is because Jay ended his longtime friendship with Kanye the moment Kanye started speaking out on how the music industry really works. However, Jay has maintained a close relationship with Diddy, even in the face of allegations linking Diddy to some disturbing things. Many fans have also highlighted that both Jay-Z and Diddy have used their money and power to protect themselves from any criticism. A few years ago, LAPD detective Greg Kading, who investigated Biggie's murder, went on Reddit okay. to answer fans' questions. And when one asked, how has Puff Daddy got away with it all this time? Kading replied, Puffy has made very good use of his lawyers over the years to insulate him from interrogation. And despite all the disturbing allegations that have emerged over the years implicating Diddy in many shady affairs, Jay-Z has maintained a close association with him to the present day. However, Jay wonder why. Kanye for a lot less. Just think about it. No matter how you feel about Kanye's views, he was never accused of murdering anyone or grooming young women or men. Now, Diddy, on the other hand... Sure, Diddy's never been charged with anything, but the number of people that have leveled these allegations against him definitely raises some questions. And yet Jay didn't mind staying close to Diddy. Fans are now saying it makes sense why Jay and Diddy stick together, considering that Jay also has a long history of troubling allegations. From his friendship with R. Kelly, to rumors about his alleged involvement in the death of Aaliyah, who interestingly was a competition to Beyonce, much like Tupac was- Well, I don't understand this. How the fuck was he involved in a Aaliyah death? Then, then she like died from like a plane crash or something like that. Like, how the fuck was he involved in that? Would he like tell a pilot like to crash the plane or something? Like, I don't get it, bro. But uh, yeah, bro, did he been accused of some disturbing stuff? And I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I don't want to get canceled. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm about to say something. Competition is Jay. Um, One fan said Tupac said Jay Z was a snake. Decades later, and the voice of Pac speaks volumes. And another fan wrote, damn, I hate to see it, but Kanye is literally the modern day Tupac of the industry. That's why they be having him on seven different meds, because he releases too much. Damn, Hollywood ain't nothing but the devil. I want no parts. But let's hear your thoughts on this. Was oh, yeah. Jay-Z really threatened by Tupac? And do you think the industry higher-ups wanted to eliminate Pac for speaking out against him? Comment down below, and then check out this next video. But yeah, but that's going to do it, bro. That was Kanye West reveals why Jay-Z hated Tupac. Now, if you enjoyed that reaction video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you get notified when I drop another banger, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, Jay-Z, he was jealous. Jay-Z seemed like he was jealous of everybody, bro. God damn, Jay-Z. Why you got so much hate in your heart, my guy? Yeah, you jealous of Biggie, Tupac, DMX. You jealous of a whole bunch of niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we finna get out of here, bro.